Hello. I am MML Ninja Monkey. And I'm MML Oraculum. And today we've got a sick cast for you. And to be honest, I haven't actually looked at the players yet, so I'm going to do that now. We've got Leslie, the old woman Zerg player, and Mana, the Protoss. So, meet your makers, Leslie. The Leslie is a Zerg player from Germany, and Leslie, I've seen two games from Leslie, and it's both against Protoss, actually, and they're against another Protoss, and I've been seeing a trend of getting three base to meet the um, fast-expanding Protoss. So this trend, will we see it today? Will we? It's your call. It's your call, man. Well, let's start off with the beginnings, and up in the top right, we've got Meet Your Makers Leslie. Woo! <laughs> and down in the bottom left, we've got Mouse Manor. That's right, and this map is... It's quite a wide choke point, actually, at the natural expansion, and I am expecting... Oh, there we go. The forward pylon for Mana. Getting that natural expansion going to be going down fast for him. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to wall off towards his ramp rather than walling off that wide choke in front of his uh, expansion there. And the Overlord now coming out and the probe going to scout. This is, uh, of course, standard play, as always, from these players. They are quite sick at the game to say the least and another overlord coming out and just droning just drones nothing else but drones so man is quite he's actually quite a young player i believe he's around the age of 16 he's already a professional wait really professional gamer yet yeah, he's been playing tournaments throughout his school life so it must be quite hard balancing school with starcraft professional games yeah, I remember him a year ago playing uh, in one of the Playhem dailies that uh, me and Oraculum used to take. We never did any good in it, but uh, this mana guy, he was always in the top eight. He was very good. To, uh, yeah, definitely. I've not actually seen any previous games from Leslie, but other than the two that I've casted, I haven't seen any in tournaments, no tournament play. But from what I've seen, Leslie is quite a strong player making quite strong builds against players like White Ra and Grubby and actually um, becoming victorious from them. So Leslie is quite a strong player. Yeah, and right now the probe trying to block it, but not going to work. Um, and he's just going to run up to the Zerg base and have, have a look. That sporting pool is nearly done as well as that Nexus going down. So the fastest band is down and he's gone and opted for a forge here. So I'm kind of expecting Leslie to throw down a third base just based on, um, just based, <laughs> <laughs> just from previous games I've seen. And he does elect to go roaches quite often, which is quite nifty in defense. However, the Mothership Core does get some free pot shots off at them. Yeah, there are, that Mothership Core is in the air, so those roaches won't be able to attack him. And he's going to have to opt for some Hydras or maybe Corruptors. But remember, Protoss in the air. That is a scary thing against Zerg nowadays. Counters the Brood Lords. I think Blizzard really likes that air toss now. And as we see, Leslie's drone is coming down here for the third base. It will be going down just as I expected. Yeah, and a probe now being chased by these Zerglings on a hot pursuit here. The probe just regenerating enough shields <laughs> to block that death. The inevitable death and another hit here from the Zergling and he's going to live. I think he's going to live. Oh, that probe getting away. I don't even know. That's such a jammy life there from that probe. <laughs> oh, he's going to go back to mining some minerals and those Zerglings are just going to sit outside the base waiting for something to happen. A nice scouting mechanism here from Leslie. Yeah, these Lings are just going to sit out here and deny any scouting from uh, Mana, which Mana does really need to do. He needs to come and scout this third base and... Really see what's going on. I mean, if you're going to scout a third base, you really want to put some pressure on. Yeah, you definitely want to put some pressure on, uh, including some chrono-boosted zealots. I'm pretty sure it's usually a three-zealot push on a third base Zergo. But by the looks of things, that's not happening here. He's just going to push those lings. There's a stalker coming out, so maybe some early aggression, maybe some just one-gate aggression, I'm not sure. Yeah, that Stalker will be coming out. And what I've seen is actually two Lings can almost take a Stalker down past half health, which I was quite shocked by. What, including <laughs> the shields? Yeah. Whoa. These Zerglings, they're getting a bit OP. Nerf them. Oh, and that Zergling <laughs> going down there. 
I'm so glad some action happened there because we were running out of things to say and this Zergling is going to have to run away and that's Elliot. He's just too slow. The mother ship coming out and the stalker just... That's too much. The Zergling's got to... Got to die. He's got to die. And man is going to be returning this favour that Leslie's given him and he's going to be heading to that third base I expect for the scout and hopefully that queen will be able to defend against the uh, mothership core. There are eight lings on the way and another queen at that third. So he's going to have two queens at that third and eight lings. So if two can take down a stalker nearly, I think that might be enough. Yeah, these lings are already here. They're in a defensive posture. The creep is in an all right position for this defense and the stalker's a bit too far ahead and here comes the engagement. Yeah, we go the lings trying to get this round, but nothing happening here. Just dilly-dallying with each other, really. And those lings going to return to the creep. And the Protoss is going to think, what am I going to do? What am I going to do here? And he's coming back in. Oh, and he's going to have some pot shots at those lings. They don't want to leave the creep, though. No, but um, just as you said, that creep tumor was thrown down. Leslie is feeling a bit of threatening behavior here and needs to extend that creep so the queen can maneuver faster. And here we go, the Ling's being forced out without Leslie's control and the Queen taking a lot of damage here, but they are quite tanky. And the Ling's going to get surrounded on this Zealot. No, the Zealot powering his way through those Ling's and just managing to get away with his life. But no, he goes down into a abyss of ire. Oh no, and that, that was quite big. He, well, it wasn't quite big, but <laughs> this was quite a nice defense for Leslie. He kept his queen alive, which is vital for uh, creep tumors and the lava. So he's in quite a nice, um, quite a nice position actually, and not much scouting information given to Mana. He only lost four lings, and he took out a zealot, so that's a hundred apiece there in the minerals lost. But more lings coming out now, and this can be quite scary for the Protoss player. But there is a big warp in here, and a lot of sentries down there. Oh, and a fourth base being thrown down here, right in the vision of Mana. He's going to want to put pressure on that directly, and, oh, here comes another engagement. Look at these lings. There are so many lings here, but there's... The force field's going down. Those lings can't do anything. No speed, nothing. And they're just trying to get around those force fields. It doesn't look like Mana's got enough here, though. Leslie is doing a lot of damage, but he's, he's been forced to uh, retreat. Yeah, those force fields acting as a great wall in that fight, blocking off so much of that damage, and Leslie's going to really have to fall back and rely on this roach push that's about to happen. Mana targeting down this nexus. It's going to look like Leslie's going to have to cancel this, and yes, he's cancelled it just in time. I love how close that was to dying before he cancelled it. Oh, and Mana's actually just going to swing around and hit the third directly, but so many roaches. There's a lot of roaches here, and but there's good... There's good force fields down. Those zealots are going to be able to get straight in there, but Mothership Core warping away. Brilliant. Yeah, Mass Recall used to great effect there. There was just so many roaches, and being able to just walk around the force fields really put that engagement in Leslie's favour. Yeah, I, that was a good call from uh, Mana there. Getting back to his third, just, uh, just keeping enough units. There's quite a lot of units there, and the food, though. <sighs> Leslie is a tiny bit ahead. And he is taking out the pylons that were proxied. So, uh, Twilight Council just finishing up for Mana now. And Blink being thrown out, which is going to be vital in these micro battles. Especially against a large amount of roaches. You're going to want to save the, your stalker's health. Yeah, these high level players, they can micro like beasts. Quite literally, they are godlike at that micro. So, the Blink going to become very useful. And that plus one armor, even better. Less micro needed. This this player doesn't even need that. And that Zealot going to fall to those lings. Oh, no. Leslie is encroaching upon Mana's position. What is he going to do? Oh, and the lings are running up right now. Oh, brilliant force field. An absolutely excellent force field. Trapping so many lings in. That is food that Leslie doesn't need to lose. Oh, this mothership core getting very cheeky there. Oh, and what Mana doesn't know is that Leslie's actually coming in for a counterattack with a lot of mutalisks. He's yeah. distracted by this army in the middle, and there's just not much here to defend. But the warp prism is going to scout this. Oh, the warp prism going straight through those mutants. The warp prism being a man, taking one for the team, getting the scouting done. That is done. And now he's going to... He's got the he's got the stalkers there. What are the mutants going to do? The mutants don't even care. The mutants have just gone straight past those stalkers, not even losing one mutant there. And the mutants have ridiculous health regen now, and they're just going to take out as many probes as they can. They're taking out one. 
One probe. <laughs> One <laughs> probe going down. But Leslie's determined to make this work. Another probe. Three. Another probe there. Brilliant. Excellent. Uh, it's very good micro from both of them here. Leslie not losing uh, any muters there. And only three probes lost from the Protoss. Oh, and he's swinging up here to the third base for mana. But really not taking out that many. Just... This is quite a big investment into Mutalists and not much payoff right now, but Mana's army is moving around and being stretched out, so there will be some weak points in this defence. Indeed, and he has got that fourth base now from Leslie. So they're kind of even now on the economy, uh, I, I think relatively even. Even, sorry. And at the moment there are 17 muters on the field. Now that, that can get quite annoying, and that's Ella just... Just dead. Like nothing. Oh but no, dead. this is a terrible engagement for these mutilists. Guardian shield up, but taking down so many sentries. And now the stalkers are coming in, but no blink being deployed. And they're just going to swing up to the main, but so many stalkers raining the fire down. They're going to have to get out of there. Oh, the mothership core getting dangerously close, kissing a muter there. But the muters are going to stop in the middle and they're going to have to run. They're going to have to run. I don't know if muters was a good idea here from Leslie. Yeah, with that many stalkers out, especially with Blink, they're going to be able to um, move in the uh, path of, of the Mutalisks and really deny those attacks. It's a ridiculous amount of Banelings being morphed in right now at his fourth base. Uh, <laughs> there are so many Banelings, and that is going to change the battle quite a lot, I think. But a lot of Mutalisks falling now at Mana's base. Oh, he's getting caught in a really, really difficult position. Oh, Leslie losing way too many Mutalisks there. Oh, yeah, those um, Mutalists did really get caught out by that Blink technology. And as you were saying about the Banelings, they were moving in for a flank here, but um, Leslie quickly realised that that wasn't going to happen. But he is going to move them in now. The Banelings coming right in, not doing enough damage really to the Protoss army. And Mana coming out of that uh, trade a lot better than Leslie. And there is going to be a Ling run by... Up at Mana's third. Half the Lings are going to be running for oh, the... Oh, Storm going down. Doing so much damage. And not enough damage done by these Lings in personal opinion. Archon's coming out now and they're going to devastate these Lings. As well as Mana pushing the fourth base right now. Taking out a Queen. There is an Ultralisk there. And the Banelings coming out. But he split his army. There is also uh, the Mothership using its ability that I'm not aware of the name right now. And Storm's going down on those Roaches. And this is looking... Extremely good for Leslie, surprisingly. I'm very shocked to say that, but Leslie might actually do a miracle defense here. Well, that really did turn around unexpectedly for Leslie. I personally thought Manu was going to come out on top of that fight also, but oh, the Ultras are out now and the Immortals down, and Manu's just going to have to back out here. Yeah, he's going to have to run away with those Stalkers that are all bleeding out. Oh, one going down there, and... Right, he's got, he's got his uh, resupply here. The Archon's going to do some damage to those uh, Lings, but that Ultra is literally just smacking his way to victory. He should be in the new Rocky film. Oh, finally going down after taking the brunt of the damage there. Actually bringing one Archon down with him, and Mana's taken so much damage, he's, he is way behind in food. Now, this push I've been seeing from Leslie has been really his main play here. Going strong banelings and ultras and really trying to surround. But the thing that Mana's done different is get that blink technology, which will help him get out of those sticky baneling situations. Yeah, especially if those zerglings surround him, he can just blink out. He's gone. And here comes the attack. Really nice storm there. Very defensive storm. And another great storm. And these ultralists, they're just so tanky. Just hitting away it's not good that all of these stalkers are stuck behind the mineral line and banelings doing so much damage here the Ar the archon and the immortal trying to stand on their own helms deep not going to happen and this fourth base uh it's going to go down oh, and and ultralisks actually make it into the third chasing down these three stalkers going all the way up here and the immortal just finally getting into the fray and countering this ultralisk but that push was so strong for leslie that Ultralist did so much damage. But the fifth right now of uh, Leslie getting a lot of damage done to it, actually. About a thousand damage done uh, with Zealots. But now he is going to be able to run in with all these Lings and Ultras. A very strong melee force coming at the fourth, uh, the third base, sorry, of Mana. And Mana's going to have to just do a miracle defense here. 
Oh, I'm not sure about this. Just so many units for Leslie and Mana's really trying to hold it together here. Sending the High Templars out, but getting those vital storms off that are very much needed in this encounter. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be enough. That Immortal do packing a punch, though, to that Ultralisk. Both Ultralisks falling here, but the... Uh the natural is getting uh, harassed still, but <laughs> this immortal, I don't want him to die, he's such a hero, but he's going to fall now to the lings that are just ridiculous on DPS. An honourable eight kills for that immortal and photon overcharge being thrown down on this nexus, but it's not going to last for very long. Just so much damage being put out, is it gonna, it's not going to oh, go down. Nexus. The nexus is going to live to uh, fight another day and these lings now going to desperately run up to see if he's got a fourth base up here but no no fourth base no mana's economy is so far behind if we um looking at the economy now he's actually two thousand behind leslie and another push coming on in here mana's gonna really have to pull it out of the bag but I'm yeah not mana's gonna have to use his army here and he's got a nice army actually he's Managed to resupply quite well, but these lings just trying to hit these high templars very nice micro though not losing one of them Looking at the units tab really tells the story though, 41 probes to 85 drones. An extremely cheeky base going down there from Leslie, right by the main of Mana. And this looks like Leslie has world domination over this. He, he's, he's taken Mana by storm, quite, quite literally. Oh, and he's coming in for another strong push here. This is probably going to be the end unless these immortals really di dish out the... Divine damage. Yeah, and those storms going down. Very crucial storms. Those banelings. Ooh, going to have to back off. And those immortals doing a lot of damage to those ultralisks. And the banelings are so slow. They're just stuck in that horrible uh, time lapse. And immortals coming out to save the day. Oh, those immortals just deal so much damage. I think Leslie's going to have to tech out of ultras and just get way more zerglings. Yeah, Zerglings here would just finish off mana, and there's a few Mutalisks on the map still, and an Observer having a cheeky scout on the Zerg army that is forming again. He's making more Banelings, which uh, I'm surprised to see, but it is working. It's definitely working. Yeah, yeah. Leslie is just whittling down mana. There's really no hope for him. Only GG. Yes, GG, yeah. Uh, deserved win there from Leslie. Very good game, actually. Um... A shocking defence there from uh, Leslie that led him towards the win. Yeah, Mana really holding out the best I've actually seen against this build, but considering on the games I've watched, Leslie is on a running riot with these wins. Yeah, he's def he definitely has a good pro or strategy. He's got it worked out. And this is strange because this used to be the uh, Terran strategy in Wings of Liberty, and Leslie just bringing it over to the Protoss side of things and just destroying Protoss players. Yeah, well, things do change, and Heart of the Swarm bringing new opportunities for those who seek. Exactly. I've been MML Ninja Monkey. And I've been MML Oraculum. Thank you for watching.